What's up everybody, my name is Braskus and welcome back to American McGee's Alice. This could be the last boss fight, I don't know. Bravery and I are not on intimate terms. My natural curiosity is tempered with caution. Thus I've lived long. But now, ignoring my instinct to flee or fear by speak the truth without regard to consequence, your courage deserves no less. You've suffered great pain and you've caused some. You've endured deep grief and feelings of guilt, but you will be tested by a more wrenching anguish, Alice. There is worse to come. You and this Red Queen cannot both survive. You are two parts of the same... <laughs> wow! Wasn't expecting that. I'm wondering if the Red Queen is going to look like her, but with the horns, the Berserk Alice. Heart of Darkness. What the? Okay. All right, Red Queen, where are you? Oh. Who am I? Nope. Off with her head. Definitely not Berserk Alice. Whoa, ow. Fuck you. You gross bitch. Ow. Which part of her am I supposed to attack? Oh, hey, 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 hey. Well, I'm dead. We'll have to try that again. Ugh. Okay, load it up. And the Red Queen comes too. Oh, sorry. Apparently I can't skip this. Who am I? Off with her head. Oh, her face just fell off. She's got no face. Okay, let's try blasting maybe the tentacle and see if that does any good. It does not. I'm already dead. Okay, hang on a second. There has to be some, yeah, no, I'm not done yet. I'm gonna keep trying at least a couple more times. If we can't do it in two more attempts, we'll see if we can figure out what I'm supposed to do. Cause I, there's gotta Where be something. I? Off with her head. She just basically zaps the hell out of me and I'm dead. I mean, look at that. So aim for the face is what I'm hearing. Yep, aiming for the face seems to work. But it's really, really hard to hit her face and I don't see anywhere else that I can go to grab, oh, there's some. I was gonna say I don't see where else I can go to grab magic. So I need to avoid getting ensnared by her whole, like, mysticism thing. But I also, yipe, ow, need to get more of those. Good, okay. Ow, okay, I gotta keep trying to get health. Avoid that, avoid that. Good, good. Keep moving, grab that. Awesome, okay, switch back to this. Blast her face, blast her face, blast her face, blast her face, blast her face. Off with her head and all that goodness. Ha, ow. I was laughing that she missed, but then she didn't. Okay, keep moving when she does that. You don't want to be standing there. See, watch her, see what she does. If she does that, then move. If she doesn't, then stand still. 
Because you don't want to get caught by it. But you don't want to be standing out in the middle of nowhere either if she starts trying to explode me. With, you know, eye beam or tentacle beams and whatnot. Move. Good, good, good. More magic, more magic, more magic. All right, this seems to be the trick. I knew I could figure it out. I want to try and get a full charge on the magic, though, before I run out of here. And I don't need much. I just need one more. And there it is, right there. That's what I wanted. Good, good, good. Now start charging and launch. Ow! God, you bitch! Fire it! Hit her in the face! Is she dead? No. No, she's not. She is most certainly not dead. Oh god, okay, just don't stop moving now. When she fires those, we can stop moving, but... Ow! Come on, I need more, I need more, I need more. God, but I wouldn't give her a big one. Don't get caught by that, that's really bad. Just do not get hit by that. And that seems, you know, if I can keep behind the pillars, she doesn't seem to do anything except that. So that's kind of, I think, the the strategy. Just keep running from pillar to pillar. She keeps doing that, and she's basically locked into those that combination of moves. Which then allows me to just grab stuff. Okay, now stay out of the way, but start charging it and fire it. Yes! I think we got the Red Queen. Only took me seven minutes. <laughs> I was expecting a much more protracted fight. That's assuming she's actually dead. Is this the end? That looks pretty promising. I think that's the end. Oof. Oh, nope. I was wrong. Not the end. Yeah, not the end. Second stage. Ugh. Hatter? I rule Wonderland alone. It is me. Your interference will not be tolerated. This realm is for grown-ups. Raw, well-ordered, ruthless, careening on the jagged edge of reality. Self-pitying dreamers are not wanted here. They cannot survive here. You fear the truth. You live in shadows. Your pathetic attempts to reclaim your sanity have failed. Retreat to the sterile safety of your self-delusions, or risk inevitable annihilation. If you destroy me, you destroy yourself. Leave now, and some hollow part of you may survive. Stay, and I will break you down. You will lose yourself forever! No more pitying. No more self-pity. Time to rip this bitch a new one. Ugh. God, you're gross. Okay, time for the real Red Queen fight. Health and magic's already at full. I have no idea what to aim for. Oh, there's something down there. Oh, could it be? The Blunderbuss! I have found the Blunderbuss! Ow! Can I maybe... Oh, shoot. Okay, well I know where the Blunderbuss is, so let's go get that. Oh, god damn it. I'm stupid. Well, not stupid, but that time I was just plain uncoordinated. Alright. Try this again. I don't want to grab that if I don't have to, because it's useful for me to have it. Ow! Oh, jeez, okay. Got the blunderbuss. And the trick is, how do I get back up? Can I, like, 
take the ah platform. Okay, how does this how does this work? I don't know what I'm aiming for. Wow. How have I managed to platform through this whole game and I've fallen off the edge of that by missing my jump like three times now? Okay, good, go quick, get up there. Now, I don't know what I'm supposed to be aiming at directly. That seems likely. No, why didn't you jump? I swear to God, I jumped. I don't know why she didn't, but I did. Okay, try it again. I don't know where the weak points are is kind of what's my problem at the moment. Okay, we got the blunderbuss. You have to move quick to do it, but we're there. I mean, it might just be her. She could be like her own giant weak point. Oh, ooh, thank God I missed, didn't miss that. Just keep running so I don't get killed. Okay, now maybe there'll be another heart somewhere. Yep, way over there, okay. So let's get running to that. Thank God that she does not, uh... Ooh, careful does not damage me by running past her. Fire it again. Yeah, that seems to be working. She does a lot of damage if she hits me, so I need to be careful about that, but... Okay, just focus on where the next heart appears and go there. You know, it doesn't even matter. Just get out of here. This is a bad place to be standing. Okay, careful. I gotta watch my platforming. I need to platform like I've never platformed before. Oh. I just noticed one of her tentacles is gr is uh, glowing. So I probably need to be aiming to do damage to that tentacle. Blow it off of her body with this massive blunderbuss that is so gorgeous and I want to use more of. Ow. You're a bitch. Back behind me, okay. The platform we were just at. Ow! Screw you! Go! Okay, I don't know if I just blew it off or damaged it or what, but... I still think Blunderbuss is the way to go. Okay, heart's way over there, so we gotta go through, like, two stages of this. Damn it. I shouldn't, I got greedy. I tried to reach for it and I shouldn't have. Okay, let's try it again. I like this, I have a plan and I know what to do. Seriously, blunderbuss, best thing ever. See, that sounds like I did damage to her tentacle, but I don't know. Maybe just hitting her is enough to start dishing out the damage. Oh, no, don't do that. No, not that one. Blunderbuss. Oh, crap. Okay, I need that extra heart, but I don't know where it is. Way over there. Okay, that's fine. We're good. Heart's over here. So grab the heart. Keep moving. Turn and blaster. Big damage. I like it. Where's the next one going to appear? Over there. Okay, good. No, Alice. Oh, thank God you caught that. Okay. I really don't want to die again and have to do this all over. I mean, I'm not as far as I made it the first time, but still. I'd rather not have to keep repeating it again and again and again. Alright, I don't know where the next one is. I don't care. I just don't want to be standing here when she starts unleashing hell. Back behind me. Go figure. At least it was close, right? Okay, and fire. Boosh. Yeah, I think that's working. I think just... 
repeatedly shooting her with a blunderbuss is the trick. Luckily, those little eye beam things, or whatever they are, the little blue beams, lasers, don't do a lot of damage. They look scary, but they don't connect that hard. Okay, I don't know where the next heart is supposed to appear. Over there, okay. That's what I wanted to know. I need to know where the next heart is so I can use it and blast her. No, I think I missed. She ducked down. <laughs> Crap! Alright, I'm going back the other way. No, oh, come on, game. Don't don't lag out on me now. Ah, oh, god damn it, I want the other should have gone the other way. What? What happened? She just hit me and that was it? Crap. Okay, well, let's try it again. Ah, oh, we can do it. We can do it, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. Hop down and grab that blunderbuss. Switch to it, pop up here, and blow her away. Okay. If she kills me again, I might look up a, another walkthrough like I did with the Jabberwock. Not so much to because I don't feel like it's working, but just to make sure that I'm not missing something. Making sure that there's not a more efficient way to be killing her. Because this is already taking a while. Oh, maybe that's what happened. She tossed those explosives at me. They blew up and knocked me off. One of them... Yeah, if one of those connected with me, that could have done the trick. Especially if I was in midair. Oh, you didn't pull the trigger. Why didn't you pull the trigger, Alice? Well, pull it now. Ba boom. No, okay. All right, let me look this up. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so I did confirm I'm doing everything right. Uh, that was all I wanted to make sure. Pretty much what I'm doing is exactly what you're supposed to do. Get the blunderbuss, shoot into her stomach, specifically is what they recommend run around and grab two crystals and then do it again. And that's the whole boss fight. That is everything you're supposed to do, so I'm doing everything 100% correctly. Oh, shit. Should have committed to the jump. So really, it's just difficult. But we're gonna do it this episode. It is going to happen. She's gonna die and we are going to finish this game. I am not letting it go. Grab that, and hop up here. Ah, screw you, you ugly bugger. That may also be what knocked me off the ledge, by the, by the way. <sighs> okay. That scream, much like the, the Banshee guys that I don't like so much, also shoves you back. So if she did that to me, that could also explain why I got uh, knocked off of the ledge. Aw, oh, crap. There we go, I was gonna say, this is hard enough without being jacked up on spider venom. Okay, where's the next heart? Where is it gonna land? Come on, I need it. You know, it's not worth it to just sit there and wait for it. I can't risk it. We need to just keep moving when that happens. Okay, it's all the way over there anyway. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't stop now. The lasers, that's fine, I don't care. No, okay, get up, get up, Alice, get up. Whoa. Shit. Oh, I still got her. Good. That's all I care about, is that she still got hit. Okay, but I don't know where the next one is, so we're just gonna keep running. God help me. 
behind me. Of course it's behind me. Where else would it be but behind me? Okay, I gotta wait for her to stand up because I need to shoot her when she's coming up. Go now. Fire it. Thank you, Alice. Get moving. I can't be standing there when she starts unleashing hell on that platform. Okay, just keep going. We might have to turn around and come back the way we came from, but I don't care. Yeah, we almost always have to turn around and come back the way we came from. No! Why don't you jump, Alice? Oh, it's so hard, because sometimes the keys don't respond. This boss fight is making that difficult. Okay, you know what? I don't know how many more times I'm going to have to do this. And the effect is the same. So, like we did with the Jabberwock fight. Ow. I'm going to just go ahead and do this, and I will cut back to when we're successful. See you guys in a second. Okay, guys, I've been recording this for almost an hour, and I think we're close. Having said that now, I'm probably going to die in, like, the next ten seconds. Um, I also discovered a few things. I think I might be able to save midway through the boss fight, so... Yes! That should be it. She should be dead. I think she's finally gone. God, I hope she is. I'm not moving from this spot. Maybe I don't need to worry about giving tips and tricks. Oh, that took me almost, and I was recording that for like 45 minutes. You have no idea how many tries that took. Oh. That was absurd. Wonderland, is it is supposed to appear, I'm guessing? Yes. Hey, the rabbit's back. He's not, you know, a flat pancake anymore. And the Cheshire Cat's back, too. Good. I guess if I'm not insane anymore, then all my damage can be undone. Holy crap. Happily ever after. Holy cow, okay, what a wild freaking ride. So first of all, creativity, I'm going to give this game a 10 out of 10. There were a couple, a few, like one or two places where it started to get a little bit old. Um, I felt that this section with the underground area went on just a little too long, and I would have liked to spend just a little less time running around in the maze outside of the Red Queen's castle. But other than that, everything was pretty well paced. You got through all of the crazy environments, um, I, I don't know, quickly enough without being too fast. It was, you spent time in it, it was great, it was fun to explore, it was interesting, and then when you were just pretty much done with it, you moved on to the next one and everything was great. Combat was a little different than what I was expecting, but I like it. Um, rather than focusing on most action platformer type combats where you're trying to get out of the way, dodge, um, attack, move, whatever. This one felt more like just picking the right weapon for for the job. You know, if you've got a horde of enemies, you use the Jabberwock's Eye Staff. If you've got maybe some enemies that you don't want to deal with, you toss the demon dice in there, let them do their thing, and get out. If you need to do a little bit of damage, you throw the cards. You know, the knife is great in a pinch, etc., etc. And on that topic, the amount of gear and equipment that you got was also really cool. Um, that was fantastic. The platforming elements are where it both excelled and at the same time fell a little short, which is a little weird for a platformer. The, the addition of the, the feet was a great idea, the footprints that tell you where you're going to jump, and if you see them, you can hit the spacebar and it will automatically direct you there. That was great for dealing with trickier jumps or wanting to be really precise, and I liked that. 
but it didn't come up enough. It, I don't know what caused them to appear, but there were some places where it would have been great to have those, and you don't really get them. Um, and some of this is probably mostly due to the fact that it's an older game running on sort of an emulated version on a new platform. This is like a Windows 2000-something game, and it's now Windows, you know, 2017 Windows 10. Um, and so the last fight, especially when a lot of stuff starts to happen on screen, you got these like a little bit of stutter in the, the, the game versus the controls. And that was a problem. The biggest problem I had was with the last boss fight and you got that stutter in there and that stutter killed me so many times. Um, in addition to that, the last boss fight, I get wanting to make it challenging, but they really needed to test it, her attacks. She killed me so many times using, you know, missiles and explosions and stuff like that. And half the time, they hit me and it would explode and it would hurt. And it would, you know, maybe bump me back a little bit, but it wasn't that bad. And then the other, like, half the time, they would explode and they would just send me flying off the stage. And that's an instant kill. If you fell off, you were dead, that was it, end of story. And so it was extremely frustrating finally being able to kill her. Um, and one of the things I also found out too is if you jump and you land, just flat out land, don't keep moving. If she's, she's stationary when she lands, she goes into this animation cycle where she basically uh, looks like she's absorbing the shock of the, the, the jump and she sort of bends her knees but you can't move again. You have to wait for that animation to finish before you can keep running. So the only way I was really effectively able to keep moving from platform to platform was to never be stationary. So if I felt like I was gonna overshoot the jump, I had to hold back to kind of keep myself from going too far over the platform and then push forward again before I landed so that I would be moving forward again when I hit the platform or you couldn't just keep skipping along. So, some of the mechanics like that I feel could have used a little bit more testing or could have maybe been thought through a little more. You know, if I hit the ground, I don't want to have to stop before I can keep going, especially when I'm under fire. That's a problem. But for the most part, it was very well done. Um, got lost in a couple of places where I felt like I was wandering around more than I wanted to. Had to refer to a little bit of help in a few places. But overall, I'd give this game probably a solid 7.5 to 8 out of 10. I liked a lot about it. Some of it felt dated, but that's just because it was older. But it was a great take on a classic story, and I had a blast playing through it. And I would recommend playing it again. Maybe I will at some point down the road on my own, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I think that's about all I have to say on it. We finally made it through, guys. So uh, now I need to decide what to do next. <laughs> I have a few games that I'm going to do uh, in the interim. Uh, I'm going to go back and finish this war of mine, or at least play through it until we fail. I don't know if I'll play all the way through to success, but I'll at least play until if we, you know, to see if we die. The goal, of course, will be to succeed, but we'll see. Um, and I've got a few other games, uh, some Kickstarter demos that I want to try out and see if they'd be good for recording, and um, some other uh, little one-shot ones where I've gotten a key from the developers that have supported me, so I'll probably do some episodes on those. But after that, I don't really know what I'm going to do. Um, I finished Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice at this point, and now we finished American Miggy's Alice. So let me know what you guys think. Um, if you want to see Alice Madness Returns, let me know. I have that one as well. And I, you know, if you liked the first one, then let me know, and maybe we'll play through the sequel as well. Uh, otherwise, you know, if you guys have got other suggestions or comments or anything what you think of the series if there are other ideas other games that you want to see played let me know uh, if you did enjoy this series please let me know as always by hitting the like button and leaving a comment down in that section right there and as always guys i'll see you in the next episode catch you later